Good evening. The makers of the new Rinso bring you the Amos and Andy Show with their guest tonight, the celebrated pianist and conductor, Mr. Jose Iturbe. Today is a red-letter day in the life of Andrew H. Brown. He has started on something that he believes is at last worthwhile. In fact, he has just graduated from a correspondence school for piano playing. At the moment, he is in his office receiving the blessings of the kingfish. Put it there, brother Andy, put it there. I want to congratulate you on graduating from the correspondence school of music. Oh, yeah. Look at that diploma I got here with all the ribbons and sealing wax on it. Oh, yeah, that, that, that looks great. Yeah, of course you know, Kingfish, you were seeing this diploma at its worst. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get me a frame for it. One with an open corner, too, so the ribbon can hang down. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm really proud of you, Brother Andy. I'll put it there again. Gee, yeah. I'm, glad, I, I'm glad you got it already. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, and, you know, this, this, this is all a great thing you got. Mm -hmm. You know, it must be great to know everything there is about piano playing. Kingfish, I really worked hard on that course. Mm -hmm. I studied all them lessons till I knows them all by heart. Oh, you did, huh? Yeah. Now I can hardly wait to get a piano so I can try it all out. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I don't want to appear full of ignorance or nothing like that, but my ear been acting funny on me lately here, you know what I hear anything? Uh, did you say that you was a graduated piano player and you still ain't touched the piano? Yeah, well, what's wrong with that? After all, you don't have to be a baby to be a baby doctor. <laughs> no, right. You don't have to be dead to be no undertaker. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I just a little old-fashioned. For some reason, I still like a piano player that plays the piano. Right? <laughs> oh, listen here, that's just a waste of time. But you see, Kingfish, the reason that I done took this course is so that I can give piano lessons to other people myself. Oh, I get it. Uh, you're going to be a teacher. Right. And I got a gold mine right here. Now, wait a minute. Look here now, brother. And look here. I's your pal. Now, how about taking me in as your partner? Now, don't forget, I know a little about piano playing myself. Yeah, well, that ain't a bad idea. All right, we'll work together. Oh, great. Put it there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, you yeah, know, this, this, yeah. this, this is going to be great. Oh, yeah, this will be the highest class school in the world. Each one of us will be a specialist. Mm -hmm. I'll learn them the white keys and you learn them the black. <laughs> well, frankly, boys, I just wouldn't be interested in taking any piano lessons. Well, Henry, you're making a big mistake. You is passing up one of the greatest things that life has got to offer. Ain't he, Kingfish? Oh, sure you is, Henry. Uh, wouldn't you like to be able to sit down at the piano and play Rack Rubinoff's Sympathy in uh, D major? <laughs> well, I am sure, Kingfish, that if I did take up the piano, it would be Mrs. Van Porter's desire, as well as mine, to play nothing but the classics. Uh, classics? What's that? Uh, you know, uh, Brother Henry, uh, them is the pieces that when you play them, you never know it's when they're over till the piano player gets up off the stool. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff, huh? You see, in the circle that me and my wife travels in, we all leans to Beethoven, Schubert, and Bach. Yeah, well, uh, I is new in the business, but I guarantee you that I'll give you lessons cheaper than them fellas. <laughs> Now, don't get the idea that we are pushing you into these piano lessons because we can get all the pupils we want. Yeah, that's right. We're just trying to do you a favor. You go out visiting a lot. Wouldn't you like to be the life of the party? Uh, yeah, I sure would, yeah. <laughs> and you is going to be a success, Lightning, because I can tell one thing, and it's important and necessary. Uh, what is that, Miss Andrew? Lightning, let me look at you. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that you has got great talent. Uh, yeah, sir. How much do the lessons cost? 
Uh, eight dollars for the whole course. All right, Miss Ann, I'll start tomorrow. I tell you what, I'll pay you with that ten dollar IOU of yours that I was holding, and you can give me two dollars change. <laughs> Come to think of it, Lightning, you ain't got as much talent as I thought you had. <laughs> so what do you think of the proposition, Brother Crawford? Andy, I do not want to take any piano lessons, particularly from you. You don't even look like a piano teacher. Uh, Brother Crawford, ability is never on the surface. Underneath them dirty hands of Anders is a world of talent. Uh, <laughs> All I can say is that if I were to take piano lessons, you two would be the last ones in the world that I would take from. Now, look here, Brother Crawford. We've been insulted enough. Yeah, we can't take an awful lot more. Well, don't stand there at the door, then. I am not interested. The whole thing is ridiculous. Your teaching piano playing is setting the music world back ten years. <laughs> that settles it. That is final. The... Uh, We'll give you one more chance. I don't want another chance. Now, as I have said, I'm a very busy man. Come on, Kingfish. I got an idea that Brother Crawford ain't interested. Well, now get out of here. Well, let's go over to see him. I know he's home because he got an appointment with Fred Gwendell to talk to him about our Christmas charity affair. Amos is chairman this year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know you as chairman of the affair, Amos, and I want to tell you that my newspaper will be right behind you. Oh, by the way, Amos, is you and Ruby doing anything tonight? Uh, no, we ain't, Fred. Why? Well, the, the music critic on the newspaper where I work gave me a couple of tickets to a concert tonight, and I can't use them. You see, I got a date with a girl, and I give her her choice of taking her to Carnegie Hall or to the Harlem Jive Palace. Oh, I see. And she done picked out the Jive Palace. <laughs> oh, she likes that better, huh? Oh, yeah, she claims that that high-class music uh, goes in one ear and come out the other, but with the jive music, it goes in both feet and stays there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're going to take her to the palace, huh? Uh, that's right. So you and Ruby can have these two tickets to Carnegie Hall if you want them. It won't cost you nothing. Oh, gee, thank you, Fred. Thank you a lot. Oh, that can't be Ruby. She's over at the Women's Auxiliary. Well, come in, Andy. How are you, King Pete? Hello, Amos. Well, how are you? Hello there, boy. Hello, fellas. How are you? Amos, I got great news for you. Look at my diploma here. Well... Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Get away from there. <laughs> oh, you done graduated from the piano playing school, correspondence stuff. Oh, congratulations, son. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like good work there, Andy. Got a diploma, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, and gentlemen, I was happy to announce that I is now associated up with Professor Brown... In the Andrew Wiggs Observatory of Music, piano lessons for the masses. That's our slogan. <laughs> well, Andy, you mean that after just taking that short course by correspondence, uh, you was going to give piano lessons already? Amos, I wants to give my knowledge to the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe get a few bucks for it, too. Uh, uh, you want to take uh, lessons, Amos? Uh, excuse me for not asking you first, Fred, but this is Amos's house. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to take no piano lessons. All right, uh, Fred, now it's your turn. <coughs> uh, me neither. Mm -mm, not me. Yeah. Uh, you fellas really going to start a music school, huh? Yeah, uh, we has done already started one, all set. Uh, we has got everything now except a pupil. Yeah, and the trouble is, uh, it's kind of hard to run a successful school without a pupil. Yeah, uh, Amos, you gets around a lot. Uh, maybe you could speak to some of the fellas. Uh, uh, you know, you see a lot of fellas uh, that might want to take some piano lessons from us. Well, I don't know, I'll see. But I tell you, fellas, I was all excited right now. About what? Me and Ruby is going to Carnegie Hall tonight. We go now to Carnegie Hall. Amos and Ruby are seated in the audience. One of the world's outstanding pianists, Mr. Hosea Turby, has just concluded the last selection before intermission. But the applause and cheers force him to do a short encore. He's returning to the piano.
Ruby, he is the best piano player I ever heard in my life. This is wonderful. I'll always remember this night. He's going to play again. Listen. <laughs> That was wonderful, wasn't it? I like that last selection best of all. You know, Ruby, I was just thinking about something. What's that? Oh, I don't know. I I, I won't even tell you, because if I tell you, I, I know what you're going to think. You're going to say that it's too crazy. Why? Well, tell me what it is, honey. Well, I was, I was just thinking, oh, I, I kind of hate to tell you, but tell me this. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could get, say, Mr. Turby to come up and play for our Christmas charity flair. You know, that, that, that really would bring the people in there, all right? Well, it's intermission. Uh, intermission? Why don't you go back to the stage door and ask him? Oh, now, wait a minute. Don't make fun of me, honey. You see, I, I told you it was crazy. No, I mean it, darling. Oh, no, honey. I, I couldn't do that. Any man that can play music like that has a soul. And I feel sure he'd be glad to do it. And remember, you're not asking for yourself. You're just asking to help other people. Yeah, I, I know you're right, but I don't know. I, I... Now, Amos, go on around to the stage door and try to see him. Uh, you really mean it, honey? Certainly I mean it. All right, honey, I will. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Turby always uses these few minutes for resting in his dressing room. Uh, yeah, sir. I, I just wanted to see him for a second or two. Well, besides that, he'll be going back on the stage very shortly now. Uh, yeah, sir. Well, the only thing, mister, is that it's kind of reporting if I could just see him to say, uh, say, ain't that Mr. Turby there now coming out of his dressing room? Yeah, that's him. Well, I'll see what I can do. Oh, uh, Mr. Turby, excuse me, sir. This young man here would like to speak to you for a second. Uh, have you got the time? Well, uh, I'm about to go on the stage. Uh, what is it you want, please? Uh, yes, I, I know you're in a hurry, and I'll tell you as quick as I can, Mr. Uh, Mr. Turby, uh, we are having a charity affair up at our large hall in Harlem uh, mm -hmm. before the Christmas holidays so that we can raise some money to take care of the poor families. And, well, uh, I, w I was just wondering if you would consider coming up there and and playing for us. I know if you would, why, we could get a lot of people to come in and raise a lot of money for charity. I see. What is the place? Uh, it's up in Harlem. It's a large hall called the, the Mystic Knights of the Sea. Well, uh, uh, I'll tell you. I'm in a great hurry now, uh, but it so happens that tomorrow I'm passing through Harlem. If you will leave your name and address with the doorman, I will drop in and see you around uh, 3 o'clock. And we can discuss the whole matter then. Oh, thank you, Mr. Turby. Thank you a lot.
Well, Kingfish, what have you got to report? Brother Ender, I done walked my feet off again today and still no luck. I never would have believed that there are so many people in the world that didn't want to play the piano. <laughs> yeah, well, I ain't had no luck neither. Mm -hmm. Not even after I put on my flowing bow tie. If that didn't prove to him that I was a piano teacher, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I know, Ender. I had my glasses on with the long black ribbon hanging down the side, you know. Uh, <laughs> didn't mean a thing. The thing that give me courage, though, Kingfish, is this diploma I got you. Ain't that pretty? Look at that ribbon on there. Yeah, you ought to get that frame right away before that ribbon gets dirty and starts to frazzle out on you there. You know, and the main thing in any observatory of music is to keep the diploma neat. Oh, a diploma's everything, you know. Oh, sure. Maybe I ought to get it insured. Yeah. Now, now, don't let us get down in the dumps. You know, I feel in my bones that this thing is going to be a success. Come on, Andy, let's go over to the large hall in the room that we is going to use for teaching and kind of fix it up. Uh, bring your diploma with you. Yeah, that sure would make a good room for a studio, all right. I hope the members will let us use it. Yeah, and I know just where we'll put the piano to learn the pupils on, if we get the piano. If we get the pupil. <laughs> if we get the room. We show loaded with ifs, ain't we? <laughs> Mr. Tabby, it sure is nice of you to say that you'll play for our Christmas charity fair. We all sure will appreciate it. I will be only too happy to do it. Oh, gee, that's nice. Uh, it sure must be wonderful to be able to play a piano like you can, Mr. Turvey. Uh, by the way, uh, this is the piano right here that we are going to use for the affair. Uh, maybe you better sit down there a second, if you don't mind, and see if it's in tune and everything. You can adjust the stool. All right, all right, my friend. I'll try it. Uh, uh, how is it, Mr. Turvey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the piano is all right. The stool needs a little tuning. <laughs> uh, yeah, sir. Well, I'll get that fixed. Uh, uh, Mr. Turvey, I'd like to have you meet a couple of our large members before you go. I know they'd like to meet you. Uh, excuse me just a second, will you? Uh, lightning. Uh, lightning, come here right away, quick. Come here right away. Did you want me for something, Miss Amber? Uh, uh, Lightning, go down the hall there and tell the Kingfish and Andy there is in the second room and tell them that Mr. Turby, the piano soloist, is here for them to come right over. Ah, uh, yeah, sir. All right, sir. I'll tell them. Miss Amos told me to tell them that Mr. Somebody was in there with a piano. Yeah, this room ought to make us a great studio. Uh, uh what you want, Lightning? Uh, excuse me, Miss Andy, uh, but uh, Mr. Amos wants y'all to come across the hall and meet some fella that's interested in piano playing. Kingfish. Amos has got us a pupil. <laughs> oh, Brother Andy, this is great. Uh, we ought to soak in double for the honor of being our first pupil. <laughs> Oh, sure. I'm going to have to charge him about a dollar and a half, because maybe I ought to give Amos 25 cents for getting it for me. Yeah, now, don't forget to bring your diploma, Andy. No, no, I don't want nothing to happen to that thing. Uh, let's handle this diploma with care. Yeah, now, look, uh, there's a certain time that you pull the diploma out, you see. Yeah. There's what they call a psychological minute there to do it. Yeah. Uh, let me know when to flash it on. Yeah, I'll tell you when. Uh, I'll say to you, now is the time. Come on. Here's my flowing bow on tight to uh, straight there, Kingfish. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Now, 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 you look great. Now, remember, Andy, uh, you, you, we, we got to do a selling job when we get in there. Yeah. We'll tell the man that if he pays attention to us and studies hard, someday he might be as good as Fat Swallow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, come in, fellas. Uh, Mr. Turvey, this is Mr. Brown and the Kingfish, Mr. Stevens. How do you do? Oh, uh, glad to know you. Oh, uh, yeah. Us professors, we're pleased to meet you. I wanted you to have the pleasure of meeting the greatest piano player in the world. Oh, Amos, there's a lot of other piano players just as good as I is. <laughs> uh, no, no, you don't understand, then. Who don't? Listen, Amos. Uh, excuse uh, me, Miss Amos, there's a phone call out here. Uh, uh, you better take it. Uh, thank you, Lightning. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Turvey. Uh, tell us this, Mr. Herbert. Uh, uh, just a minute. Eat Turvey. Eat Turvey. 
Uh, I mean, Mr. Turbin, uh, uh, how did you happen to come up here? Well, you see, I, uh, I came to New York to go into Carnegie Hall. Oh, that's uh, enough, that's enough. Yeah, you done made a smart move and decided to switch over to us. As you know, Mr. Wormby, uh, <laughs> them, 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 them long-haired fellows uh, down there don't know nothing about teaching the piano. Oh, the hair gets in the eyes, they can't see the notes. Yeah, half of them is playing in the cracks. You see, Mr. Turkey. <laughs> you see, the first rule that we got in our school is that all of us professors has got to keep the hair cut short. Pardon me. Am I to understand that you are going to give me piano lesson? Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Turmoil. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, uh, we can give you the beginners or the advanced. But I have been playing the piano for 30 years. Yeah, well, don't get on this with courage. Uh, you'll get the knack. <laughs> you'll get the knack of it all of a sudden, you know. Uh, the, oh, yeah, we had them worse than you. Uh, now, uh, ha, ha, ha. About the money. <laughs> uh, we have got several courses. We have got the $8 course that learn you in six weeks, or we got the deluxe $10 course that will learn you in a month. Mm, well, I think I better take your quickest course, because I'm playing with the New York Philharmonic Orchestra tomorrow night. Oh, well, in that case, I better take off my coat and get busy right away. Yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, now, uh, uh, Coase, you know what a beautiful instrument the piano is. Yes, I do. It is the instrument of the immortals. That's right. And they got to learn to play it the same as anybody else. <laughs> uh, uh, here is the instrument right over here. Uh, step this way, Mr. Jerky. <laughs> Now, this is called the piano. Now, the place where all the keys is here is what we call the uh, uh, dashboard. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Mm -hmm. Now, sit down on the stool here. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. the idea is to hit these keys right smack on the nose like this. Now, that note there, that's, uh, uh, that's a white one. That's in your department. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Professor Brown is going to tell you that that note is C. Yes, that's C. D E F G. Then it goes right on. H I J K L M. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, now, the main thing, Mr. Murky, is to, you got to keep your knuckles low. <laughs> We teaches the knuckle down low system. Uh, now try hitting the keys. And knuckles down, Mr. Derby. <laughs> you mean, you mean like this? You see that kingfish? He learned it already. Well, uh, that just goes to show you, Mr. Turbin, that it uh, appeals to come to the best teachers. Oh, yeah. You is a lucky man. You know that? Uh, that phone call was for you, Mr. Turbin. They want you to come down for a rehearsal at the New York Philharmonic. Well, why didn't you tell him he was busy taking a piano lesson? Uh, <laughs> you ain't trying to give Mr. Turbin piano lessons, is you, you think he's going to be too dumb to learn? <laughs> Andy, Mr. Turby happens to be one of the world's greatest piano players. He gets thousands and thousands of dollars for just one appearance. Why, he is one of the highest paid, most famous concert artists in the world. He is, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Turby is going to play for our charity concert. And to tell you the truth, why, I was, I was even ashamed to ask him if he would use this old piano here. Oh, that's all right, my friend. I'm sure this piano will work out. Um, let me, let me try it once more. Look, look at this. 
there was some oil or grease on the piano stool. Do you have something I can use to wipe it off my trousers? Yeah, sir, we sure do. Brother Andy, now is the time. Hand the man your diploma. <laughs> Be sure to join us next Friday evening at this same time when the makers of the new Rinso will again present the Amos and Andy Show. At that time, Amos and Andy will have as their guest the fine star of pictures and stage, Mr. Walter Houston. Meantime, this is Harlow Wilcox speaking for all of us, thanking Hosea Turby for appearing with Amos and Andy tonight, and bidding you all a very pleasant good night. This is the National Broadcasting Company.